Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Rental Regrets. As always, I am your host, Victor Nub, and today we are looking at Terminator 2 Judgment Day, developed by Software Creations and published by LGN and released in the United States in February of 1992. So obviously, this is based on the movie of the same name. Uh, if you don't know what the movie is, never heard of it before, I assume you're some kind of space alien invading planet Earth and you must be destroyed. So that's all there is to it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, the game that we're going to be looking at today, I believe I rented exactly one time. And the reason I rented it exactly one time is going to be probably the reason why this will be a shorter episode if we actually get this far. Uh, there is a level in this game that is just flat unfair. It's one of the hardest. Wow, that is a weird looking John Connor. <laughs> oh, they tried to do a perspective shot and boy, that just makes him look really funny. <laughs> That's a half decent Arnold. His head's a little bit too small, but whatever. Uh, yeah, the, the second level of this game is extremely difficult, unfairly difficult. One of those things where I played it, I couldn't get past that level. I got really upset. I don't even think I played it past that first sit down that I played it and said, this game isn't worth the time and effort. So let's go ahead and get started. Cyberdyne Systems Terminator Series 800 Model 101, all systems online. I like the touch that the bubble that he arrives in still blows up the or, uh, disintegrates the corner of the truck, which was a nice touch in the movie. And the fact that the little time displacement bubble actually disintegrates whatever is within it when you uh, activate or teleport, whatever you want to say it is. Pop, 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 pop. I'm thinking, oh boy. So can I just run past these guys? Oh, get out of here. Why am I beating up blind people? So one of the things, and I learned this the hard way by playing the game Target Program, uh, is that you can't just wail on people by punching because they'll counterattack and you'll take damage while they're attacking you. So that's one of those things where... All right, can I continue? There we go. So they want me to keep doing this. Uh, if you just decide to trade blows like that just without trying to dodge enemy attacks, you actually will lose eventually. Uh, and the f boss in this area is exactly that. You have to, like, take hits, run away, or, or back up. Oh, I'm assuming that was the T-1000. A little bit early for him to be showing up, isn't it? Haha, -ha, sucker. Uh-oh. These guys kind of look like the uh, idiots that uh, John Connor was messing with when he found out that the uh, Terminator would do whatever he asked. So I don't think I'm saying anything terribly provocative or unbelievable when I say that Terminator 2 is one of the best action movies of all time. It's an incredible movie. I do think it's controversial, controversial, I can speak, to say that I actually saw Terminator 2 before I saw Terminator 1. I have a very distinct recollection of that. What that was is I had a friend that I met when I first moved to the second home that I lived in all the way up until I uh, left and, and got my own place. Um, and I met him in sixth grade and I went over to his house for a birthday party. And that was kind of like the first time I had experienced a lot of things for the first time. Uh, not nothing weird, nothing sexual. Now, uh, I think that was the first time I ever played DuckTales. It's the first time I ever played Rampage. And it's the first time I ever saw Terminator 2. Now, the funny thing about that is, uh, as I said before, I had never seen Terminator 1. And if you know anything about Terminator 2 in relation to Terminator 1, it is when... Can I go this way? No, they still want me to beat someone up. Uh, it is when the, the big twist occurs, and, you know, if you'd never seen Terminator 1, it, it's not a twist to you because you didn't get it. Uh, the Terminator in the first movie, the Arnold Schwarzenegger character, was 
the bad guy. It was the one that was, you know, chasing after Sarah Connor and trying to kill her so that she can't give birth to the, the future leader of the resistance against uh, the machines. And when you get to the second movie, the Terminator pops back up and uh, John Connor, who had already heard horror stories about the Terminator from his mother, automatically assumes that, you know, the, the, the original Terminator, the one that looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, is the bad guy. So he starts panicking and running away. Then the big twist occurs where the cop that you assume is the human that was sent back in time by the resistance to try to keep uh, Sarah or John Connor alive is actually the bad guy. I didn't know that. I had never seen the first one before, so the twist didn't didn't mean anything to me. I, I had no idea that he was supposed to be the, the cop was supposed to be the good guy and the Terminator was supposed to be the, the bad guy and that it was actually the other way around. Uh, I think part of the reason why that didn't really make sense to me, or at least it, it wasn't a twist that occurred to me as something that was, you know, so shocking is the fact that I saw this movie in whatever, 93, 94. At that point, Arnold Schwarzenegger had already been established as a household name and usually as the good guy in whatever movie he was in. In fact, I, I don't know if there were a ton of movies where he was ever the bad guy. I think it was the first Terminator, and maybe that's it? Before Terminator, he was in Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. He was the good guy in both of those films. Um, I think he had been in Commando at that point, the good guy. Uh, what else? I don't know what else he would have been in up to that. Oh, uh, Running Man, he was the good guy in that. Yeah, I mean, he had been in other movies, but he was always the good guy. So the, the revelation that people were supposed to think that he wasn't the good guy in Terminator 2 didn't occur to me. All right, so this guy, punch and run, punch, run, punch, run, punch, run, punch, run, punch, run, punch, run. By the way, if this is how big the guy is that he stole the clothing from. There's no way he would have been able to fit in that stuff. This guy's like a foot and a half taller than him. Stop it. Can I jump him? I can. We're losing screen space. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, it got terminated. I don't know, I figured this part out when I was a kid. Do not kill, cannot self-terminate. I like the little details there about that. All right, we got one more try. On oh, no, that, it's come on, man. Why are you not getting hit? Am I getting too close? No? All right, this is bullshit. Come on, take a hit. I'm gonna lose again. So yeah, this is definitely not the kind of movie that a 11 or 12 year old kid who had never seen an R-rated movie in his entire life should have watched as the first movie that he'd ever seen. Uh, oh, I like the pause screen. You get all the little text scroll that you would see whenever you saw from the Terminator's point of view. That's a nice touch. But yeah, I saw the, the movie when I was, you know, 12, 13, whatever I was in sixth grade. And yeah, it was a very violent movie. They didn't show anything all that horrible. But yeah, guys getting shot in the knee. Dude whose back was almost certainly broken because he got hit with a grenade round. Uh, the Terminator ripping the flesh off of his arm was pretty gruesome. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. Get, get, jump him. Maybe that's the trick. Just jump his back. I mean, yep. There you go. I'll just do that. <laughs> this, the, the, frankly, the premise of this first level is just nonsense. He's a machine. He shouldn't have any difficulty beating up a normal human being. 
but it is what it is. All right, so now we're going to get to the part that is absolutely horrible, and I think I might save Scum a little bit to see if I can't make it past this and see more of the game. Current weapon. T1. <laughs> uh, a spitting image of Robert Patrick, or is that... Yeah, it's Robert Patrick, because his brother Richard Patrick was the lead singer of Filter and also an abusive drunk, and that's part of the reason why they really aren't a band anymore. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to save here. We'll, we'll give it, I'd say, 10, 10, 15 minutes of uh, attempts at this, and if I can't get past it, we're just going to go ahead and call the episode. But this is easily one of the most difficult levels of any game that I recall ever playing. Now, of course, this is uh, with 20 years of uh, other games that I've played since then, but this is one of those things where it was like it was so difficult, I got so frustrated, I just never touched the game and again after the one rental. So maybe it's not as hard as I remember. Maybe I was missing something that I, I in hindsight, uh, should have known uh, how to do and just didn't, but... Let's give this the best shot that we can. So obviously this is emulating the... Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> See how many tries you get before the game ends. All right, so I still have more tries. It would help if I was hitting the right button. All right. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I got run over. <laughs> I think that's it. All right, we got to re reload. There we go. So you have to do two things here. You have to uh, keep the, the street in front of you clear, but you also have to shoot him to uh, shoot the T-1000 to keep him out of your way. I think I have... Oh, crap. I think I have a limit on how much ammo I have because they show an ammo bar when you die here. Well, I, it seems like it's full. Maybe I don't. But you have to shoot the gates open every time you get to them, and also you have to shoot the truck back. And clearly I wasn't hitting it. Um, and I don't know if I knew about that part. I think when I was a kid, part of that was I didn't realize you could point your gun backwards and shoot the truck to get it out of your way. One thing I did know when I was uh, initially playing it was there was a truck you could shoot at some point, and that truck would give you an extra life every time you shot it. I don't know how I knew that. It might have been because I had been uh, reading about the game in Nintendo Power, or I just did it by accident once and realized that that's what I needed to do. Get out of here. No, I didn't get him enough. <laughs> There's no reason why the second level of this game should be so impossible. <laughs> when you see stuff like this, it's disheartening. It makes you think that the developers didn't actually ever want you to beat their game. Ow. Got wiped out on the fence, which I had already shot open. I'm going to disagree with the statement there that you cannot self-terminate. I seem to be doing a very good job of self-terminating. I also don't know if these boxes are giving me ammo or they're just obstructions that I can shoot out of the way. Get back. Get back, I say. No, 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 no. Get, no, no, no. No, 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 no. This truck doesn't seem... Menacing it. It's just kind of like a, an annoying little bee that's approaching him. <laughs> Who designed the sound for that part? <laughs> we'll just make a little. We'll record a, a, a bee flying around, but we'll like down tune the audio so it's a little bit bass, uh, has a little more bass. <laughs> nope. On. I don't know what happened there. I think I may have taken too many hits. Mm. 
What? I think if I hold down too long and get too close to the edge of the screen, I die. Which is dumb, because if you hold back to shoot, the game slows your bike down. That's not happening by choice. Okay, well, whatever. No, no, no! Oh, come on! Actually, I think it might be slowing down a little bit. Like, the, the vehicle's trying to eat me. Now, the, uh, the Terminator movie is, or the, at least the second Terminator movie, I won't say this so much about the first one, uh, was kind of a technical marvel in some regards because of some of the things that they had accomplished. This scene in particular was pretty impressive because at least with the re-releases, uh, they did a really good job of hiding the Terminator's face in the scene where he makes the big jump off of uh, the whatever it is to get down into the, the pit. I think it's, there's like a middle concrete median that he has to ramp off of and then uh, get away from the truck. And they they did some uh, digital facial replacement. I think it was, it might have been post the initial release and maybe it was worse, but I remember seeing it a while back and thinking, man, they did a really good job replacing his face. Now, obviously, if you have a really good double who already kind of looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Arnold did back in the day. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, it would have been very easy to just do the little bit of touch up you have to do to make the uh, the stunt double look exactly like the actor. Oh, I, I got screwed there. <laughs> Stupid oil slick. Uh, but yeah, that one particular shot and they do it in slow mo, which was already a very damning bit of uh, directorial choice making. When you have a close up of someone doing an oppressive stunt and you know that the stunt is not going to be performed by the actor because there's no way they were going to be able to make it safely. Uh, yeah, the, it, I think it takes some guts to say, we'll be able to touch it up so that no one will know that it wasn't actually Arnold. And they made that choice. No! I thought I was doing good there. I think I, well, all right, whatever. I didn't need to do that there. That's fine. Oh. What? How am I already at half health? Get out of here. Wow, I got screwed. That didn't seem fair at all. I hit one box and it took half my health off. You're a machine, man. You should be able to take bigger knocks than that. Get out of here. No, 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 I got hit. <laughs> uh, like I said, this level is absolute hell. I know people have always had big problems with the hover bike section of Battletoads. I've done it before. I don't think it's nearly as hard as people think it is. It's simply memorizing a pattern. And even then, the pattern's really not all that difficult. I mean, the, the biggest stumbling block for most people is getting through the, the section of the hover bikes where you're literally just doing uh, a bunch of uh, oh, oh, oh is this the farthest I've been? Get back, get back, get back, get back. Huh. Ah, I got hit! I should have kept shooting backwards. Uh, just going through the section where they don't give you the little markers telling you go up, down, up, down and it literally you just learn the cadence of it, which is up down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And it slowly speeds up more and more until you finish it. But they don't throw any real stumble blocks in there. Oh, come on. I mean, I don't recall changing at all. I think it was just up and down until you finish that area. And I think that was the last part of it. But everything else was pretty easy in that. This, I've never beaten it, ever. I've played this game on emulator before. Which, of course, is totally illegal. No one should be doing that, but I did, and I still couldn't beat it. Whoever did this was a sociopath, a monster. I shouldn't be allowed to make video games. Ah, come on!
Oh, oh. get back. Boy, it would have been really nice if uh, Arnold or the Terminator actually had this kind of reload capacity for a shotgun. Just pop, 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 pop. All right, come on. I know my mission. Let's get to it. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Stay away. I'm, I'm screwed. I don't see why you have to be on the bottom of this little, I don't know, culvert or whatever the, the ditches are in L.A. to shoot the truck. Is the T-1000 really that worried to be about being on the right side of traffic when he's not even on the street? No, 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 get out of here. Stop it. Stop it. I hate you. I hate you, T-1000. I mean, that's what the... I start with half health again. Is it doing that every time? It is. Oh, screw you, game. I guess game's hard enough. I don't need a extra punishment. It must be because of what my health was when I finished the last level. Which already seems unfair. I mean, why wouldn't they give you full health to start the next level? Do like the. <laughs> uh, I do like the use of bass in the soundtrack for this game. I do think it's uh, it works. It doesn't sound anything like the soundtrack for the movie. I mean, the main theme is incredible for the movie. I don't know if the entire soundtrack is aged all that well because it was very synth heavy, as I recall, and not not all that memorable. The music that wasn't the main theme song but yeah it's or it wasn't uh, it wasn't synth it was uh, like a lot of industrial noises oh, oh. get out of here get, 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 get. Boy, you cannot mash that key fast enough in some spots to get the truck off your ass I almost feel like I'm going to have to engage a, a turbo button on the controller to get past this. Get back. I... What? He was gone! Now the game's just screwing me over. What the hell? I made it through the fence and the game took away all my health. They are. They're trying to screw me over to make sure I can't beat this level. What did I hit? This is unbelievable. This game continues to be the absolute worst. Now I'm double shooting my... It, it happened again. I seem to have broken the game. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just going to mash that damn button as much as I can. <laughs> All right, we're giving us one more try and then that's it. That is all we're going to do to look at this game. It continues after all these years and my my memory of playing it to be the worst. Come on. <laughs> well, they didn't screw me out of health that time. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Get out of here! Get, get, get! I am yelling at a cat now. Get out of here, get out of here! No, come on!
I just screwed myself. No, no, no. I'm alright. I'm alright. Whoop. Took a lot of damage, but we're alright. I really wish the game would give you some indication of how many bullets stops the T-1000, and they don't. I said I was going to do it one more time, but I, I'm getting annoyed now by this. Now, get away from me. Get back, 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 back. I'll take... I'll take hits from the box. I'm not going to stop shooting you until you go away. Away! Away with ye! <laughs> Breaking out the old English. <laughs> Forsooth, you're a confounding presence. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing at the fence, but I keep getting hit. I, uh, why is the window so narrow? Furthest I've made it so far. No, come on! <sighs> All right, we're done. We're done. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, this is gonna be the easiest wrap up I've had on a game ever. This game f***ing sucks. <laughs> it's good to feel vindicated or after the years of not doing anything else with this game and being like, it's too hard. They didn't make this a fair game. What were they thinking with this area? It's so goddamn hard to shoot that truck and keep it off your ass. It takes forever to push it back and then it shows up again and you have to dodge stuff while you're shooting backwards, which by the way, in case it wasn't clear what was going on there, the only way to shoot backwards is to hold down on the D-pad. And if you're holding down the D-pad, you can't dodge. All you do is hold down. So if you're not constantly holding backwards and shooting, which your vehicle slows down when you do, you can't dodge objects. You have to keep pushing the truck back and you're slowly drifting backwards towards it. And then if you get hit by it, it's over, you're dead. They made that way too hard, way too hard for the second level. Now it turns out on versions of this game that came out uh, after this one or uh, alongside this one, especially on the Sega versions of the game, they took this level out because it's so bad. This was atrocious. They never should have made this level as hard as it was. One or two shots to push it back should have been all you had to do. I mean, just... They had good music. They had good actor likenesses for the few that you could see in these uh, still frame uh, digital versions of the, the pictures. Some of them better than others, obviously. Uh, the Sarah Connor version that they show in a little bit is pretty good. This is a halfway decent picture of the uh, the, the box art that they had for the second movie. But, I mean, that's a pretty good model. Uh, too hard. The boss in the first level definitely kicked my ass for a, a bunch of different tries until I finally figured out punch him, run away, punch him, run away, punch him, run away. But that second level is stupid hard. I swear when they made licensed games like this, no one play tested. They were just given marching orders. This movie is coming out in six months. Push a game out on the market as soon as you can. And they never stopped and said, someone should try to beat this before we put it out on the market. This is, this is the result of absolutely no quality assurance. When you make a game, and clearly they put some effort into doing the still frames, getting the, te uh, the text on the screen to look like, you know, the kind of scrolling text that they had in the movie, uh, when the T-1000 or the, the Terminator is looking at stuff and the text scroll pops up, you know, he sees all in red. They had little details that matched what was in the movie, but they didn't stop to think, can we make it a good game while they're working on it? 
My regret for this is very easy. I should never have rented this piece of shit. It sucks. F you, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the video game. The movie, not so much of a f you, but this game, f you. <laughs> All right, enough bitching. Uh, this was a bad enough episode as is. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Rental Regrets. As always, I do appreciate each of you watching, and I will see you next time.